Series on Microsoft, it's up nearly 6% today on a bullish call from Morgan Stanley. The firm saying that company can reach $1 trillion in market cap within the next year thanks to strong cloud adoption. It's our call of the day. Who owns it? I do. I do. Like this call? <laughs> I don't understand really do the today. call. I mean, this you don't is understand a, it? This is a, because it's a multiple expansion call. How do you raise your price target 20% and not increase your earnings this year or next year? You're saying multiple, uh, multiple expansion will take it higher. And to me, that's what's wrong with the market. So either raise your numbers or admit that your earlier price target was wrong and take it higher. Look, do I think the stock can get there? Yes. Do I think it's, uh, it's cheap at 19 times earnings next year? Absolutely. So you just don't like the reason he thinks it's going to get there? Most, well, no, I don't. It I comes out of nowhere. The there's, there, there's no reason is basically what it is. Look, the stock has been a stalwart, all right? It's up like on average 22% a year. For Guys the last, on the stock the is up 6% years. and you're hating on the analysts. No, no, no. But here's the thing. Why is it, why is it going to go up 41% over the next year when it's averaged 22% over the next five years? If it's going to do that, you've got to come out with a cogent reason that nobody else knows. Yes, the market's inefficient. It isn't that inefficient. There's plenty of people here who own the stock and think that it could go up 20% in the next year. 41%, you got to give me a reason. It's not there. this becoming the first trillion dollar U.S. stock would actually, it, it, I don't know if irony is the right word. Um, maybe, maybe what I'm trying to say is the symmetry. This, so far, holds the all-time valuation record on an inflation-adjusted basis. Microsoft's bubble era high has never been surpassed, not even by Apple. So it would be kind of interesting to see it get back there. Um, I think this is a really easy stock right now. 100-day moving average has worked perfectly, has bounced off there, found support there multiple times. It's about 88 right now. Trail it with a stop. Use a closing weekly. Um, you know, if you see this thing go out on a Friday below that, that level, maybe maybe the buying uh, appetite has changed here. But until then, matter. I think Forget you want to be that. with this name. This this, I, I don't me. care about that. Here's what I care about. He's above the street in terms of his <laughs> estimates versus consensus. Right, so he didn't have to go and put that out there. I think it's cheap. I think that should have been his price target. To me, this is catch up. I like it, and I think it's cheap. The growth is accelerating. You've got a 10% increased EPS this year, and you've got 20% next year. How many companies are doing that? So I don't okay. care about that, so that works out perfectly. Exactly. <laughs> and well, we're only price pays. Except I own the stock. Listen, I think it's a long-term hold. It's, it's, <laughs> is that Pete yeah, laughing? That. That I knew that was going to You know what? That is Pete laughing. Let's Pete's bring in Pete. Laughing. Let's he's bring in Pete. He's laughing from the A block. Right. Right. Pete, he's Pete's Minnesota. always laughing. He's, he's a delight. happy guy. That was the genie laughing up Pete, in Minneapolis. Pete's my man. Pete, he Pete, you own it. Microsoft. You own it. Yeah. I've owned it for a long time. I owned it when Satya Nadella was placed in as, as the CEO, and he talked about cloud, right? I mean, that is exactly where he came from. He talked about it, and he's been very innovative going forward. But it's also been about execution, Scott. Look at how well they have done. And a lot of people don't really recognize this, but the competition level with AWS, everybody says Amazon's the big, you know, gorilla. They take on Amazon, and I think they're winning, and I think they're winning market share. And one of the parts of the note that I don't think you guys brought up at all was they're, they're talk, the, the note was talking about the gross margins and how those are going to be improving along the way as well. And let's not forget, it's not just about cloud. This is also a company that 10% of it is Xbox, and that continues to be a growth area and a very strong contributor to Microsoft. Come on, Xbox Microsoft. is not getting so them to a trillion dollars, Pete. Let's Let's... You talk to Back a it's a ten to a game. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. You can't. Just, that's a that's a crazy statement. I didn't say <laughs> Xbox is the getting them there. Just, well, Xbox <laughs> is ten percent. So if it, but isn't it nice to have that extra ten percent? I mean, we're talking about nearly ten billion dollars from Xbox. Think about that for a minute. Ten billion dollars from Xbox contributes to this. So it's a cloud play, but you've got other parts of the the equation as well. Right. Hey, hey, look, last comment. You want to own Microsoft, fine. You're going to get gains in it. But easier gains are had in Cisco and Intel, which are much earlier in the stock up cycle, comparable to where Microsoft was five years ago. I That's disagree. the single I biggest bromance. Well, there we have a market. That's the single biggest bromance on the show. Pete and Sachin Nadella. I mean, every time he talks about the stock, he <laughs> Have you ever heard of Brian Cornell? I don't know. Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> Pete shares your love. That's right. That's right. We'll That's have to right. start calling him I Pete Nadella. Yeah, exactly. How about Katie Huberty? Robin's There's another at Cisco one. too. <laughs> Pete, right. what would make you? What would make you sell Microsoft? Pete's wall of uh, love. Sachin Katie Adele, Huberty downgrades if, it. it. No, seriously. No, 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 no. And Katie Huberty. <laughs> Katie Huberty's not the analyst here for for Microsoft for Morgan Stanley either. Keith so let's Weiss's. remember that either.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.